Have you ever spent hours trying to build infographics in PowerPoint? Or maybe you've had a great idea in your head, but no design skills to actually visualize it? Well, my friend, you're definitely not alone. But don't worry, in this video I'll show you how you can take a simple chunk of text just like this and turn it into an amazing PowerPoint infographic like this or like this or even like this. And the best part, you can create all of these PowerPoint infographics in just seconds without any design skills. Alright, so let me show how it works, let's go! Ok my friends, so creating an infographic like this from scratch in PowerPoint would definitely take some time and skills. However, luckily for us, there is a much easier way. And all we have to do is go to Napkin AI. And this tool can literally turn our text into visuals. And this is exactly what we need. And now we can start for absolutely free. And if you would be interested in one of the paid plans of Napkin AI, make sure that you grab my discount code in the video description. You'll get 20% discount. And now let's keep on going. Ok, and once you log in, you get a couple of options to create a new napkin. And first of all, you can use AI to generate some text content. You get some suggestions below. And next, you can use your existing documents, you know, such as Word files or even PowerPoint files. That's super awesome. Or you can use a blank napkin. And this is what I'm going to do in this video. So first of all, we can give a nice title to our napkin. Let's just call it one skill. And now here on the left side, we get this little icon that we can customize. That's super nice. And now below, we can paste in any text that we might have and that we would like to visualize. So let me jump to my Google Doc. And over here, I have prepared a couple of, you know, paragraphs of text that we could use. So let me grab the first one, which is about return on investment of employee training. And it has some stats inside. So let's just copy this text. Let's get back to napkin and let's just hit control V to paste. OK. And that's super awesome. And now, as you can see, once my mouse hovers over this paragraph, this blue line appears on the left and now we get this magical blue button that we can click. And now this whole paragraph is being scanned and skadoosh. Just like that, we get this beautiful infographic in seconds. Man, that's magic. That's pure magic. And what's really impressive is that we can instantly preview all of these infographics just by moving our mouse. You know, that is just insane. You know, that's super duper awesome. Okay, so as you can see, first of all, we get some AI suggestions. Next, we have some recent designs that I have tried out. That's nice. And I guess if we have something specific in mind, for example, SWOT analysis, we can search for it. And here we go. We get a couple of SWOT analysis results. That's nice. And we even get a pestle infographic. That's beautiful. And below, we have a bunch of categories that we can explore. Let's just go to brainstorm. And inside, we have some subcategories. Let's go to key ideas. And once again, I'm really impressed with how fast we can see all of those infographics. That's just super duper awesome. Let's go to process. Let's go to sequence. OK, let's check out what we have over here. We have some beautiful gears. We have some pipes. Man, I really like those pipes. Those are looking beautiful. OK, let's check out one more. Let's go to visual metaphors. I think we can go to stairs and let's just pick one. OK, let's just pick one infographic. For example, these isometric stairs or steps. OK, let's just click on it. And right now we get a couple of, you know, different styles that we can pick from or choose from. So you can go black and white. You can go with color. I'll just go with this first style and skadoosh. The infographic has been inserted. And now what is super awesome is that every element of this infographic is fully editable. So, for example, we can change any of the text boxes. You can delete anything that you don't need or you can add anything that you want. We can change any of the icons. So, for example, let's click on this icon and let's search, for example, for a trophy. And let's pick any icon that we want. And just like that, we get a new icon. By the way, we can add new steps if we need more steps in our infographic or we can delete any of the steps that we don't need. That's, you know, really flexible. And of course, we can change the colors of any of the elements. You know, you can change the fill, you can change the outline. And once we're happy with how our infographic looks like, we can export it into a bunch of different formats. We can use PNG, SVG, PDF or even PowerPoint. We will definitely try out PowerPoint later on. But for now, let's say that you would like to apply your brand colors to your infographic. So let me show you how you can set it up. 
And for that, let's go to the brand studio. And over here, we can see all of the built-in styles and we can create our own style as well. Feel free to name your style. Okay, and now for the colors, we can create all of the colors manually. Or if you have a screenshot of your brand colors, you can just upload an image and AppKin AI will scan your picture and extract all of the colors. So we've got two main colors and a background color. And by the way, you can click on any of the colors and you can adjust the hex code if needed. And now let me just add one more color, which is fully white. That's beautiful. Now let's go to the next step. And over here, we can pick our fonts. So you can choose from the list or you can go to add uh, new fonts. You can choose from Google fonts or you can upload your own font. OK, so I've already added a couple of fonts from Google fonts. You know, that's why they have that little blue star. And for the title and for the label, I'm going to use the unbounded font. And for the description, I'm going to use space grotesque. And next, my friends, we can generate our brand style and napkin AI will give us a couple of suggestions. So let's pick the style that we like, for example, style number two. And on the right side, we'll see a preview. We will see how, you know, this style looks on all of the infographics. And once we're happy, let's click on done to save our beautiful brand style. OK, that's beautiful. And now we can select any of the existing infographics. We can click on change branding and we can apply our company branding just like that. That's super duper awesome. But for now, let's get back to that colorful look once again. I really like this style as well. The only thing that I would like to change are the fonts. OK, so we can get back to the brand studio. And I think we have to customize the Glowful Breeze style because this is the style that our infographic is using. And now to quickly change all of the fonts, we can do that directly in this infographic. So let's select, for example, the slide title. And now let's pick a new font from the font drop down list. Let's go with unbounded. OK, and let me choose unbounded for all of these subtitles as well. And for all of the descriptions, let me choose space grotesque. OK, and after that, we can click on I'm done. And now once again, let's make sure that we select our infographic. Let's go to this button that allows us to change the branding and let's pick our customized Glowful Breeze style. Here it is. And now we have those you know, beautiful colors and we have our new fonts, Unbounded and Space Grotesque. And now, my friends, let's export it to PowerPoint. Let's see what we'll get. Let's just click on download and I'll meet you in PowerPoint. And Skadoosh, my friends, our infographic has been successfully exported into PowerPoint. That's beautiful. I can see all of the fonts. That's nice. All of the elements are selectable. That's good. And at the same time, I can see that the slide ratio currently is set to 4 by 3. So let's set it to 16 by 9. This is what we're usually using. And now I think we can select everything with Control A and let's hit Control G to group. And now let's just increase the size of our infographic so that it nicely fills the slide. Let's not worry about all of those text boxes. We can, you know, adjust them later on. For now, let's just make sure that we nicely, you know, position our beautiful isometric steps just like that. Once we're done, we can ungroup with Control Shift G. OK, let's bring that slide title back into the view. And next, my friends, let's just zoom in so that we can see everything better. I think let's adjust how those numbers are looking inside of those text boxes. I think we can select both of these guys. Let's make sure that they're aligned to the middle of the text box. That's beautiful. Let's do the same for these guys on the right. OK. And next, I think we can increase the font size of these subtitles. So let's set them to 20. That's looking beautiful. And for all of the little uh, text boxes, let's set them, for example, to 12. That's looking beautiful. And of course, feel free to adjust the position of all of your beautiful text boxes. Let me do that quickly and I'll catch you in a second. OK, my friends, and now the next thing that you might want to do is to increase the thickness of your lines, of your infographic lines, because currently they might look a bit too thin. And what you can do, you can select, for example, this icon. You can go to the free Bright Slide uh, PowerPoint add-in and you can select the object by outline weight. And this way, all of the elements with the same line weight will be selected. And now we can go into the shape format. Let's go to shape outline. And now we can pick a new weight, for example, 1.5 points. And this way, all of those lines are looking a bit thicker. That's beautiful. 
And next, we can set a slight transition for our slide. Let's pick Fade and let's check it out on the full screen. And now, as you can see, the whole infographic is visible right away. And let's say you'd like to reveal this infographic step by step. So let me show you how we can animate this infographic. And now, my friends, a good idea would be to group this infographic into separate groups. So let's select all of these uh, blue guys at the bottom right corner. Let's hit Ctrl G to group them. OK, now we can select these guys over here. Let's hit Ctrl G to group them as well. We can move them around to make sure that they're a separate group. Now let's select these guys. Let's hit Ctrl G to group. OK, they are one group. That's nice. And now we can select and group these guys at the top left corner as well. That's step number four. And now since we have all of these guys in separate groups, we can animate them easily. So for the first group, let's add a flying animation and we can open up the animation pane so that we can see all of the animations that we are adding. And now let's make sure it starts on a click for the duration I'm using 1.5 seconds. Now let's choose the direction of the flying. Let's go from right and now let's jump into the animation options and let's choose maximum smooth end to get that smooth landing. OK, let's actually make it faster. Let's go with one second. That's beautiful. And then we can just select this animated group. Let's double click the animation painter and let's paste the same flying animation to the rest of the groups. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's just make sure that for the second step and for the fourth step, we choose a direction from right. OK, because we want these guys to go from the opposite side. And steps one and three will fly in from the right. So let's check it out on the full screen. And on the first click, we can see the first group. Next, we can see the second step. Next, we can see the third group. And finally, we can see step number four. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friends. So now you know how you can turn your text into beautiful infographics. With the help of Napkin AI, you can do all of the customizations. You can export them into PowerPoint and you can add some animation magic. And once again, if you'd like to get one of the paid plans of Napkin AI, make sure that you grab my discount code in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.